It's been less than six months since his handshake. Kim Jong-un has visited China, North Korea's closest foreign ally, many times over the years. Xi Jinping, on the other hand, is the first Chinese leader to travel to Pyongyang in well over a decade. We are ready to work with the DPRK to continue to carry forward the fine tradition of China DPRK friendship and promote the continuous development of exchanges and cooperation between the two countries in various fields. Relations between the two authoritarian countries have been strained since North Korea began amping up its nuclear weapons testing. Beijing supports denuclearization of the Korean peninsula and recently backed a raft of international sanctions against Pyongyang. These talks aim to relieve tensions. The U.S. will be watching closely. A summit between Kim and U.S. President Donald Trump in February broke off without an agreement. South Korea said it is hoping talks between Xi and Kim will move things forward, opening up the chance of renewed negotiations on the North's nuclear program. Okay, a lot to talk about there in Pyongyang. Let's go to the region now. I'm joined by DW's Fabian Kretschmer in Seoul. Good morning, Fabian. Can you tell us what kind of message are the two leaders hoping to send with this meeting? Well, the message is definitely a very harmonious one. Uh, both countries are really putting a lot of emphasis on their friendship, which is actually quite complicated. You mentioned uh, that it's really an ambivalent and complicated relation, but really they try to be very harmonious. For example, both will visit the Korea North Korea uh, North Korea China Friendship Tower and also um, celebrate the historic ties. Both were fighting in the Korean War, which started 66 years ago, and both sides need each other. China needs North Korea because it wants stability in the region, and of course, uh, North Korea needs. Um, uh, China because it's the economic lifeline of the country and without China they basically could not survive. Uh, Fabian, this meeting comes just ahead of the G20 summit. Now, how is that factoring in to this visit? Yeah, a lot, I would say. The timing is really crucial. Um, I would really say that this summit is also a signal uh, from Xi Jinping towards uh, Trump because Trump needs um, China to back his strategy of maximum pressure of keeping the sanctions. Uh, if China wanted to, it could easily open up the border and start economic cooperation again with um, North Korea and then counter that strategy. But um, of course, Ch China is definitely very worried about the U.S. trade war. and. Uh, China will use that as a leverage in discussing trade war with Trump, and they will meet soon at the G20 summit in Japan. Okay, you mentioned the sanctions against uh, North Korea from China. So that makes this a very important meeting for Pyongyang. Yeah, I, actually, there's also like a practical outcome that uh, North Korea expects from the summit. Uh, and that is food delivery, food aid, because uh, North Korea had a really bad harvest, the worst in a decade, and 10 million people uh, depend on foreign aid. But of course, the bigger picture is that uh, Kim Jong-un needs a diplomatic backup by China. It wants uh, China to lobby in Washington for their strategy of denuclearization on their terms, basically saying that they have a step-by-step -step approach, not, not the big deal that Trump expects but rather, um, you know, giving concessions step by step. And of course, they hope that uh, China would be in favor for that and also support them. Okay, a lot of stake for both sides then. Fabian, thanks so very much for that update.